Welcome everyone, all I'll let you how to fix your iPod Touch not connecting to the Wi-Fi network. So first of all, I just want you to go to settings and Wi-Fi and just double check that you know, you're know you entering the, uh, in the password correctly. Just try uh, the connection again. If that fails, what I want you to do is try it on another device using the same password. And if that doesn't work on the other device, that means the password you're trying to enter is wrong. So you just want to make sure that you get the right password for your Wi-Fi, enter that one in. But also it could be an issue with the Wi-Fi router itself. Just restart the router then try again. If you've established that the issue isn't with the Wi-Fi router uh, or the password being wrong, but the actual iPod Touch itself, well then here's a couple of things you can do. So what you're gonna do, you just want to navigate to general. You're gonna scroll to the bottom until you see transfer or reset iPod. You may also see just reset, so just tap into this one. And you just wanna find reset and then reset network settings. So you just wanna tap into this one here and it's gonna reset all the uh, uh, network settings on your iPod Touch. And then once that's done, you wanna go back into Wi-Fi and then try and connect to the Wi-Fi network again. So hopefully that would solve your issue. If it doesn't solve your issue, well then there's a couple of things you can do. So uh, first of all, uh, you just wanna check, can you actually connect to any other Wi-Fi network? So you just wanna set up a hotspot on your phone and then try and hotspot from your phone to your iPod Touch. And if the connection isn't working from the hotspot to your iPod, that means the issue is with the iPod Touch itself and there's a fault with the iPod. So we can try and fix it with software. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to general, reset or transfer reset. And then you just wanna tap into erase or content and settings. So one thing you need to keep in mind is this will erase all of your data, all of your apps, all your games, all your photos, etc. So make sure you back this, uh, back all that stuff up. And once this reset is done, try and reactivate uh, the iPod Touch. See if you can get uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. If you can, you're good to go. If you can't, then what that means is your iPod Touch is faulty, and that's the reason why you aren't able to connect to the Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is you're just gonna have to contact Apple support. If your iPod Touch is under a year old, they'll give you a free replacement, no questions asked. If your iPod Touch is older. Uh, if you're in the UK, in the EU, you have consumer law, so you have up to six years after delivery date to get a free replacement. But keep in mind, uh, to use consumer law, you have to bought from Apple directly, and you also have to have the original proof of purchase. And yeah, so just do that, and you'll be good to go. Otherwise, you just have to get a new iPod Touch, because uh, the problems with the iPod itself is a hardware flaw, so you can't really fix it. So that's really about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.